talk about uh, a little bit of marketing. Uh, uh, this uh, is meant to be, uh, I, I would say a few words uh, to start just to let me, you understand uh, uh, what I've done in terms of reasoning behind the activity that uh, I've been doing for now for more than 10 years in marketing and open source software. But then uh, I think uh, it is a lot better if uh, we exchange opinions than uh, if I tell you what happened. So uh, I, I, let, let's be clear on the definition of wh what we are targeting now and what we have been targeting for the last 10 years. So we, this is our target and it's the early market. We, uh, and, and now I will tell you why. Because these guys are usually the person that are more open to news. They are more open to new technologies. These are the guys that have the first uh, smartphone uh, when all the others use, uh, uh, still use the feature phone. They are the guys that install the new version of an operating system. These are the guys that install Linux just to test Linux, have a dual boot machine. Uh, they are the guys that are not afraid of testing technology because they understand that new technologies bring advantages. Of course, uh, there is also, a, 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 let's say, a price to pay because new technology may have bugs problems, uh, but at the end, uh, if you manage new technology, you usually are an happier man at the end of the day, or an happier woman at the end of the day. Uh, then uh, there is this uh, that English people call with a weird word, which is very difficult to pronounce for an Italian, which is CASM, uh, uh, which means that these are the ones that are open to news, uh, and these are the ones that are conservative, they, they're called pragmatist. So if it works, I will use it. If it doesn't work, I will not use it. And then you have the conservatives that are even afterwards, and then you have the skeptics that will never use your product. So uh, for each marketing strategy, you have to decide which is your target. Otherwise, you just shoot in the wild and uh, you're shooting nothing. So the target is this one, and there is a reason. These people are usually, not always, but usually, the people that are suggesting technology to these people. Uh, at the, uh, in the city of Bologna, when they migrated, the IT manager had the idea of uh, choosing the tech, let's say the, 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 the most advanced people uh, the tech, the people that uh, were technology uh, enthusiasts, by asking to these people, if you want to buy a new phone, which one, would uh, which, which, which one of your colleagues we, you will ask uh, uh, which phone you have to buy? So reverting the process just by asking these people who were the technology enthusiasts. And then these guys were the first that were migrated to, to open office at the time. And they, they were the first that, be, because it, it's clear that if you are a technology enthusiast for phones, it's probably easier to make you a technology enthusiast for computers than a, someone that is not even a technology enthusiast for phones. So this is the basic idea. It's address these guys first in order to address these guys indirectly. And uh, let's be clear on uh, one principle. We address, uh, and, and of course I'm telling something which is extreme, uh, but in, and, and has to be interpreted with good old common sense. Let's target only the people, these people that are using Windows. It's not because we want to ignore the people that are using Linux and Macintosh, but it's on Windows you have more than 80% of our target. So again, uh, focus on one target which is easy to understand and spot. Avoid confusions. Of course, uh, the other one will follow easily. Linux people have to know open source software. Otherwise, they will not use Linux. So why 
forgive me, why lose time in convincing uh, Linux user that open source is good when they are already using, using open source? Of course, we are. We, I, I, I go to all Linux meetings in Italy I, because I don't want to ignore Linux people. But this is not my main target when I think about communication. When I think about communication is a Windows, basic Windows user. Someone that doesn't even feel that the computer is an important thing for him. Someone that thinks the computer is something that he has to use because today you cannot basically use the, 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 the stone and, uh, and the scalpel to, to write your letters. But they would if possible, because they don't feel comfortable by using technology. Most real users do not feel comfortable in using computers. They don't trust themselves. I try to explain this when, uh, you know, the, in, in Linux, when you open the terminal, you write sudo. Uh, sudo in Italian means I sweat. <laughs> and this has, been, uh, this has been programmed for me. Because when I open the terminal, I start sweating because I don't trust myself. It's not that I don't trust the terminal. I don't trust myself writing into the terminal because I write stuff that I don't understand. I'm not a technical guy. So of course I'm forced to mimic what others have done without understanding the logic behind that. And therefore I don't trust me because I can do mistakes without understanding where I'm doing <laughs> the mistake. And this is exactly the same position, of, for instance, my wife, she's used, of course she's using a, a, a computer, but she doesn't trust her as a good power user of that computer. So if the computer does something that she does not understand, she's lost. These are the users that we have to target, because these are the, this is the highest number of users. If you go to power user, we, we can use a, tech, a technical jargon, we can use a, a different way of communicating, which will cut away the majority of our potential users. And this is a mistake, because we, uh, it's better than someone says, this is not enough technical for me, we can kill them with technical material, uh, than 80% uh, telling, I, I'm not going to read that because it's too technical. Because the 80% is where we can get our, let's say, second generation users. The first generation is definitely these people. And uh, a few definitions. It's, uh, again, it, it's easy to, if you look at the definition, you will recognize people <coughs> inside each one of these. And also, in pragmatist, in conservatives, <coughs> And this one, and this uh, look at the definition, the goal of high tech marketing is not to sell to them, but to sell around them. You basically have to ignore the skeptics and do in a way that you really get, ar get around them with your, uh, with your messages. Because, uh, and uh, the two people that are, if uh, I look this, visionaries and pragmatists, between those guys, there is the, the gap that we have to fill in with our communication. Because our communication, it's easy for these guys, it's difficult for these. So let's look at a difference between these guys. You know, one uh, support evolution, the other one support evolution. So when you, I, I, I ne if you look at the press release that I, I write for LibreOffice, I never say that LibreOffice is a revolutionary release. I always say that is a, a, an evolution of the previous one. Because I want these guys to start understanding. Those guys are not worried. They understand by themselves if, if the news story is a revolution. I don't want to scare these guys. I don't mind about scaring these guys. They're already available for new for new stories so these are the guys that will follow us they might be uh, you know they, they might be friends of microsoft but i'm sure that if we keep on doing it well 
there is a day that they will download and install LibreOffice. They might continue to use Microsoft Office, but they will have both program on their hard disk. These are the guys that have one program on their hard disk. They will never have two because two, they're pragmatists. If you use a program, why you should have two on your hard disk? Doesn't make sense. So we have, uh, you, 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 you will never have to say that it's a risky. Uh, when, when, we, when we announce uh, the, uh, the first release, so the 5.0 for instance, it's always a sentence that says, if you are not a technical enthusiast or a power user, do not look at this release. We don't want them to believe that they installing the, the 5.0 they, they, they would have risks because it's the first release. There might be bugs. There might be rough points inside the release. So these guys is okay. They take risk. These guys would be scared. They install LibreOffice. They get a bug. They say, this product is not for me. And they revert to the previous one. And we have to avoid this risk. And last slide, then we start discussing. Uh, we need to have different strategies for different stages of the market. In each market, we are in a different position. Uh, we probably, in Italy, because I'm Italian and of course uh, uh, speaking Italian, and uh, I, I, do, I use Italian as a testbed for, te for, for strategies, because it's easy for me to, to test what it works. Uh, but then, and, and maybe I'm ahead of the majority of the other markets, what I write in Italian to Italian journalists is, does not reflect what I write in English to UK and US journalists. The Italian communication is ahead because, of course, uh, I can control better my language and I have people that I have been working with, journalists I've been working with for 30 years, which is not the same in, at the international level. So. We have to understand uh, that each market will have a different strategy, even for small differences. Might be the wording that we use for a press release, maybe the, uh, in the, 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 the focus that we give on a, on a specific uh, uh, detail. You all know your market, and uh, it's impossible from a central point to know everything. Uh, so there might be a, a specific feature which is more attractive, uh, let's say, for Hungarian users. I don't know. You know, I don't know. And uh, if it is true, uh, you should tell me. I think that for this release uh, in Hungary, I'm telling it because Gabor does a wonderful job in translating uh, press releases in Hungarian. Uh, you should tell me. For this, re for this release uh, in Hungary, we will do it a little bit different from Central because I think that we have a, a feature that is, has been expected by Hungarian uh, users uh, for a long time. May, may not be true or may be true. It's up to you to tell me. I cannot tell you. I don't read your languages. In some cases, I don't even read your alphabet. Indian people, they, you write in a wonderful alphabet, which I find uh, like a, a masterpiece in terms of visual, but I don't get a single word of your uh, uh, language. So, uh, uh, and this is the same for uh, Japanese people, it's fantastic. When I get emails from you, uh, you have your name in, in pictograms, it's, it's a lot better than Italo Vignoli written in our letter, I know. but I. I, I know that you are because on the side of the pictogram there is a Shinienoki in my language. <laughs> Otherwise, it could be you, uh, Naruhiko san, or any other Japanese guy writing to me that I have no clue. So, we should help each other in uh, doing the best uh, for, for each market and for the complete community. So, of course, there will be let's say, umbrella messages, which are the message from the center. And then uh, you are free to adapt these messages to your market. And we, do that, we, we should do that together. Because this is going to allow us 
to improve the communication with, the, with each market. And usually the journalists in a market reflect the users of that market. Because first of all, a journalist is a user. He's, he's probably a power user, but he's a user. <laughs> so he knows uh, an Indian journalist will know Indian users. So if you write something which is not good for, a, for, a, for an Indian user, the journalist will understand that it's probably, you know, it's the corporate message. But let's do it better than Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, and because they have the corporate message. I, I've worked as a consultant for these companies, and I work in a, in a large company. And they say, you should never change the corporate message, which is, sorry, bullshit. Because the corporate message is okay for the United States, is not okay for the other markets. So let's do it better. Let's be friendly to each market. Of course, it's, uh, it's not easy because I'm, I'm telling you, just coordinate 140 or 240 because nations in the world are 240, 240 messages. But I want to get the challenge because I know that only if we get this challenge of being uh, very vertical for each market, we will win over large corporations. We are more credible. When I talk to Italian journalists, <coughs> I always play on the fact that I, I can tell the truth. The corporate guys cannot tell the truth. I have the freedom to tell the truth. They don't have the freedom to tell the truth. And can you imagine how strong is this message when you talk to a journalist? The journalist will believe your words because you are implicitly telling him you can trust me because I don't, I don't sell anything. We sell ideas, we sell principle, we sell ethics, we don't sell a product. So why you should cheat the journalist about the product if you don't have to sell it? When there is a bug, I say, okay, of course there is a bug. We will try to solve it as soon as possible. We will never refuse to acknowledge that there is a bug in LibreOffice. And I can tell you that if someone writes uh, this is not functioning properly in Microsoft Office. The answer from Microsoft Office, press office, would be uh, we are looking at the problem, which is anyway, we are providing workarounds for that. And uh, uh, if necessary, the problem will be solved in the next uh, version, which is a completely different answer from saying, uh, yeah, we acknowledge that there is a bug. Developers are working hard to solve it. So let's work together in this uh, and we will uh, really make the difference. I finished and now I want your question. This is my address and I have 11 others so you can write to any of them. I, I, I read all of them so it's uh, your questions please. No questions? In localization, you want in translation, you want generally I saw that uh, more women participation are there, but in open source translation uh, field, very okay. less uh, women is participating. What is the reason? Uh, <laughs> you should ask women, <laughs> <laughs> not to me. I'm a, I'm a man, so <laughs> no, but I, I can okay. tell you j just one last uh, thing. I will uh, show you the system that we have put in place to, to send uh, localized press releases later. There is a speech that says use PHP list is in the afternoon. Uh, the, uh, it's important that uh, I don't want to send the press releases for everyone. The advantage is that we have a system that tells us once the press release is sent, who are the journalists that have opened the press release and who are the journalists who have clicked on the, on the links. So this has allowed me over time to have a focus mailing list of people that always open. So it's important that we send it from central. I am happy to handle your mailing list, it's not a problem, and I will not give our mailing list to everyone. But I have a system that allows me to know if there is, let's say, an Indian journalist that click on the press release, I will take his address and create another email, that's a mailing list that says, 
interested Indian journalists. And they will start receiving more press releases just because they are opening our previous press releases. And this is how I managed to, 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 go, to grow from a 200 people to a 13,000 people mailing list. 13,000 worldwide, of course. Mm -hmm. There are Italian, Germans, uh, French, uh, English, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, uh, Indians, uh, there are Russians, uh, uh, I have one from Cuba, one from Ghana, and uh, uh, you could tell me why you don't put the one from Cuba, one from Ghana in the same mailing list. No, I have one mailing list for Ghana and another one from Cuba. Because they s one speaks Spanish and the other one speaks English as his second language. Of course, I cannot send the press release in Ghanaian unless someone translates the press release in, in his native language. <coughs> but the Cuban one gets the press release in Spanish when I get the translation in Spanish. So everyone will get, uh, if it is on our, let's call, friend mailing list, we'll get the press release in English, because our friends get always a press release in English. But we'll get also in Hindi, if it is also an Indian. So of course he will throw away the, the English one and use the Hindi. And uh, everyone has been warned that uh, if uh, they, they might get two messages from us, uh, we apologize. But of course, uh, being a big project, uh, it's rather impossible to uh, deduplicate mailing list uh, to the point that you are really so precise. So that we are putting, let, let, let's say that as, a, a, as the foundation, we are creating the infrastructure also for you to be more effective with your communication. So let's use the infrastructure. I will show you, I, I will let you understand how the process works, but I think it's important that we start really working together as a team, even if we are scattered around the world. We have a mailing list that is called private marketing. If you are not subscribed to that mailing list, please send me or Sophia an email we will su subscribe, uh, subscribe you to the, that mailing list. Uh, it's private because we discuss how to kill Microsoft, okay? <laughs> and it's not nice. And as it's not nice, uh, we would not want people to receive the message where we, uh, we discuss how to conquer the world. Okay, because we do that ethically. There has pe been people in the past that has not done the same thing ethically, and the confusion, the people could say that TDF is here to, to, to rule the world, which is not true. Hey, you are not conquering the world, you are giving people choice. So that's not a Sure, no, I know, but you know, the, the problem is that Microsoft guys insist on the fact that we want to kill Microsoft. I'm joking on that. We don't want to kill anyone. We want to give yes, uh, an alternative we are not to monopolists. Uh, and we are against monopolists. Exactly, exactly. But you know, the, 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 the f if you look at what they're writing in Italy, where of course the level of discussion is higher, they, they, they say, you know, you want us to get out of the market, which is totally untrue. I don't want anyone, by the way, it would be impossible, but I don't want anyone to get out of the market. I want people to have a choice between uh, different products. One more question. I still, un I still not replied my question. I will ask her personally. <laughs> but one more question. Uh, how, uh, the, I don't know what is the condition of uh, English dominance in your country. But in India, English is a dominant language. It's a language of opportunity, language of job, and all the things. It's not, it's not so, the same in Italy. Uh, yes. So. How do you think uh, we can fight uh, English uh, as a language? English is a language, they are giving us a lot of information, we are thankful to that. But uh, as a language, become a symbol of power also in yeah. a country like India. So how to, NLP thing is uh, your presentation, so how to penetrate the our NLP project there? And Get this and translate that to Hindi. Yeah. I it's already translated in these. It's already it's a, it's a, it's since, it's since a, ten years we are translating I, I open office and LibreOffice. I don't have an answer for you because you you know I can give you the answer for it, for Italy where English is not. Uh, uh, I mean, many people speak English, but the level of English is very low. 
you, you, you had the unfortunate situation of having the British rule India. We didn't yes, have colonial it. past. We have col colonial past. Yeah, but you also had a Gandhi, <laughs> which was, uh, I think, uh, uh, rather nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I always use the, the word of uh, Gandhi that says, first they ignore you, yes. then uh, they make fun out of you, then they fight you, right. and then you win. Yes. Red Hat had put this line at uh, every office office. <laughs> you go Raleigh, you go India, everywhere in front of office, this sentence is written there. But I think, uh, I mean, I think that part of our, mm, part of our uh, uh, mm, mm, objective is also to educate people to use their own language. We, we localize uh, LibreOffice in so many languages because we respect the local cultures. Uh, yes, we are also planning, we'll ta give talk, we're also planning to do it in all 22 languages. We already have 13 languages. Yeah, I know, uh, it's, uh, it's very complex. Uh, yes. uh, uh, and uh, let the, the other people know that. Once you will have the localization in, other, in, in all your dialects and languages, let other countries know that. Because you know that there are countries where uh, uh, they, they see this as a problem. And if you can make it, the other guys can make it. So let's communicate. If, if the news is only for India, don't, don't be shy about sending me an email and say, how we can leverage this news worldwide. If it's only I about Hungaria, let, let's do it. There might be two journalists that pick up the news story uh, in other countries. There is already two countries that will know the story more than just India. So don't be shy about that. Don't be shy about sharing. Uh, the worst that can happen is that I, I answer you, I said, sorry, for this news, I don't think it's strong enough to be sent in other markets. But I mean, it's just uh, uh, it, it, we should not be shy about uh, sharing the news stor stories. Because this is the only way we can really make LibreOffice look like a global project. Otherwise, it looks like it's an English-speaking, an, an Anglo-Saxon project, because we have to speak English. I mean, we need one language. And unfortunately, or luckily, I don't know, uh, English is the language that is best known uh, by the majority of people. So we have to use English as our basic language. But this doesn't mean that we communicate only in English. We communicate in each market in the local language, and I want that to become a reality. I, I want to get to the point, maybe in a couple of years, where the journalists, even the friends, will get only one email from us which will be in their native language. At the moment, unfortunately, the, the mailing list is still growing and being, uh, let, let's say, cleaned up. So it's impossible to have just one email sent. Because other, if I don't send the English, I'm not sure that the guy gets the other one in, the, in his local language. Uh, but I want to get to the point where I'm sure that uh, the Indian journalists will get only the, the Hindi or any other language they, they are reading uh, uh, in, uh, press release. Uh, the only thing that we will always have to put at the end of the press release is that if you want to talk with the uh, representative of TDF, you should answer in English, which I think is acceptable. They, of course, uh, the lo there will be the local community uh, contact with, uh, uh, that can answer in the local language. But of course, uh, centrally, we cannot have people speaking all the languages of the world. So that's... Uh, it's time to... No, no, it's uh, a phone call. Oh, <laughs> it's a phone call and I, I cannot answer a phone call during uh, the speech. And uh, so it's, uh, it, it's an invitation to work together more strongly. And it's a very strong invitation. I'm a bad guy <laughs> and I know all of you and I will find your, adre your own address if necessary. Okay? He okay. used to fly. He used to fly over all over the world. So. I will find your home address if necessary, and then I will give your home address to the organization that say we know where you live. Okay? They do a clean job usually. <laughs> no 
<laughs> Absolutely <laughs> clean job. <laughs> the, the, no one will find evidence of your existence before. <laughs> we have recorded this. <laughs> but it's not me. You know, it's another organization. It starts with M. <laughs> it's based in Sicily, but not not just there. And they use a lot of concrete to, to solve problems. So they usually build a concrete column around you, and they put that in where the, the, the seaside is 4,000 meter depth, deep. Mm, it's not sad, you know, many times they no, used to, to bridge. You have to, to, to build very up nice bridge fishes against. down there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice person, I would not kill uh, uh, mosquitoes, yes. <laughs> but n I, not <laughs> over mosquitoes. Okay, so I was just joking. So that's uh, it's all. And this is my fantastic jazz uh, band. Mm. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is, has been designed by a friend uh, designer. It's called uh, Vladimir. I don't even remember his uh, his last name. He uh, lives uh, in uh, in Irk Irkutsk in Siberia. And uh, as we are both uh, fond of chats, he has sent me this and said, Italo, I've created a, 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 a world screen um, uh, and there is your, uh, your uh, you are one of the four. <laughs> and which one I am? This one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> and he is that one. <laughs> I've never heard you sing. <laughs> no, I never, no, 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 it's bad. Never ask me to sing, but I know my limits.